Are you scared yet? It is goosebumps time, ladies and gentlemen. Back to the channel. Things are amping up. We're getting to the end of the season. This is about to be episode 8. Previously on, the kids fucked. Right, they are trapped in the scrapbook inside the Biddle house. And Harold and uh, yeah. Harold is following Nora. And she's going up to a cabin in the woods because of course she is. And yeah, the parents are finally involved. They finally believe Nora. Let's just get to it, man, because the last episode was fantastic. I'm literally watching this one just after finishing that episode seven. This is episode eight. The last episode was unbelievable. Oh, let's see what happens next. Hmm. Smart plan. That's the appropriate reaction. Hey, in case I never see you guys again, you're my best friend. I'm really sorry for saying vile things about you guys online. I've been a very lucky person. I used one of your dad's washcloths as toilet paper. Hey, Margo? She's lucky she didn't slam her neck into that chair. Stool. This must be an early page in the scrapbook. This was Biddle's basement. Are you good? You didn't finish what you were gonna say. The moment's passed, Billy. What the hell? Don't be scared. We're Harold's parents. We're waiting for him so we can move on together. That's not creepy. Guys, what's happening? They also trapped in the scrapbook? And somehow they escaped. That's all you gotta do. You can't stop. And will always be our hair bear. We'll try. Come on, let's go. Why would you possibly forgive him? If you were at all real. Guys, we gotta go find my mom. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to be stuck down there, isn't he? Quickly, out the door. Run. Guys? Margo? Isaiah? They didn't really think this one through, did they? You know, it would suck if he died. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. He's a good man. And we'll see what happens. Oh, that's a horror movie shot if I've ever seen one. Is that a weird look to anybody else? That is a cabin. It actually reminds me of one of those uh, cabins from uh, <laughs> 007 Goldeneye. Well, on the 64. Anyone on the snow levels. That's exa it's exactly what it looks like. I recognize that tune, but uh, for the life of me, I can't 
Can't name it. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Fuck me. <laughs> I'm so focused on the damn tune. It's me, seven, goosebumps, okay. one. Thank you. I, I, I'm not going to be here long. Fuck. Is everything all right? You seem a little nervous. Yeah, I'm fine. Just get the I'm... fuck out of the woman. Yes, of course. <laughs> okay, well, I best get going because I end up on a Dateline episode. <laughs> That's Jim something, isn't it? You know, Gaffigan? Someone like that? that. She's a big fan. Never misses an episode. Who does, right? A lot of evil out there in the world. Yeah. Uh-huh. Why are you dragging this on, my man? There we go. I thought he would never leave. And I was waiting for it. Didn't get me. Fucking TV show. <laughs> I feel like the cup kind of screwed up there. So how many cooker packets do you think Beth's down by now? What would happen if you strap some plastic explosives to it? I mean, it didn't burn, but maybe something with a little more kick to it. So awkward would it be didn't text back? I feel like this is kind of the moment, but oh, not. I don't need your boyfriend coming at me. Come on, man. Then I gotta go with you. What if that comes back on Nora? Why don't you all go? Uh, you know what? You guys stay together. Uh, okay, come on, be safer. Yeah, if he doesn't come back. Stay in the Jeep, okay? Come on, we gotta go! I feel like the guy with one arm should be staying in the car. It's okay. Staying in my and the badass chick should be going after the killer. Ghost. Yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> Where are the parents? Were they on their way? Give them back to me. We belong together. He's the evil. And you're he dead. You evil. No. He made, no. he made you a monster. He didn't do this to me. You and your friends did. No. Ow. I heard that in my ear. <laughs> this is a good episode too. Very classic horror. But it's more creepy than it is kind of uncomfortably scary. How expensive is it to get to Antarctica? Oh, there's some chasms down there you could probably throw them into. I mean, it doesn't burn, but have they tried taking, like, an axe to it? 
Because you're able to pull him apart, but I feel like an axe would do something. It almost helped. They can't actually be together with the magic of them. Come on, Nora! I mean, I feel like if you take the head and leave the rest, it'd be much faster to move around. And what was in the box that she brought from the general store? Is that just like supplies or did she get something for the dummy? Kicking us and taking names. What are you guys doing here? Tell them. Like I said, just get the head, throw the rest of the stuff away, and just keep running. Well, that's not good. Because the puppet has a plan. And we still have no idea what that plan was. She needs to get warm. I'd be dead too. <laughs> She's okay. But Isaiah, on the other we hand, cry. we have to go stop Biddles. Mm. Kudos to him. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, I'm just waiting for one of the parents to come up and push him over the edge. Did we scare you? You're just a kid. We're all so sorry. You were my friend. I mean, an apology doesn't really make up for the fact that you killed him. Come on, Harold. Make a decision. See ya. Now someone yeet him over the edge, will you? <laughs> huh. Okay. I mean, this is episode 8. Yeah, there's 10 episodes. So, what the hell's about to happen? Uh, I'm glad he's fine. May mean you say that now. I'm sorry. Still alive. Creepy. Okay, so that's over. <laughs> we think. Uh, there's still two episodes left, so. What the hell is gonna happen next episode? Because I feel like that that was that was pretty final, but I mean I don't know. So I'm I'm a bit confused. Um, but also that was some damn good television. <laughs>
Um, I was finally scared by something. It was a pretty cheap scare, if you ask me. But I was so focused on figuring out what the hell that tune was. Because I still can't place it. I know what it is, but I just can't connect the dots. Uh, yeah, I was so focused on that. When the cop showed up and scared Nora, it scared the fuck out of me, so. <laughs> I was trying to make it this whole season without getting scared because it is a horror series. <laughs> Fairly light on the horror. Goosebumps has always been a bit more creepy, I think. Um, uh, yeah, it got me. Right? It's, like I said, <laughs> it's cheering the reaction. It's me, seven, Goosebumps, one. Lord knows what's going to happen next episode. Will I get scared again? Will I, uh... <laughs> I hopefully I won't fall for more cheap scares, but... We'll see. If you guys want to see more Goosebumps as we head towards the season finale, be sure to subscribe to the channel and join me next time. I'll see you then.